Let's go ahead and quickly break down what we brought for Pinhead today, which is going to be a Sloppy Butcher, which gives the main golden hemorrhage status effects on basic attacks. And we go with Hex Face the Darkness. Whenever you injure the first survivor you injure, we'll actually activate this Hex. All other survivors outside of your terror radius will scream every 25 seconds, revealing their position and auras for two seconds. When the survivor enters the dying state or becomes healthy, the Hex Home becomes dull again, and this perk deactivates. Third, we're coming in with Scourge Hook, a Pain of Resonance. Anytime you hook a survivor on a Scourge Hook, the gem with the most progress explodes, instantly losing 15% of that progress and will begin to regress. Last but not least is, of course, Corrupt Intervention. The three gens located farthest from our spawn are going to be blocked by the entity for 120 seconds. Or until we put a survivor to the dying state. As far as that on today, we went with the torture pillar, which will decrease the time for chain hunts to activate, and we went with layered remain, which will increase the time it takes for the survivors to solve the configuration by two seconds. Overall, it is a very fun and solid build. So let's go ahead and get to the gameplay. Well, definitely not the map I would prefer, but it is hit and run, so we can always make something out of it. I doubt they spawn by me here, so they're probably gonna pop out more or less this side. Or up there. Kind of what goes on normally. I want to find a chase like immediately. Okay, cool. We at least got a chase. Did she drop? No, she's running back this way. Kind of a bummer. She went down. I don't want to stay here too much. All right, let's drop, see if we can catch them off guard. Not that way, okay, cool. Hello, you got a toolbox, I like that. I might actually chase this to finish, just because of where we're at. Normally you want to hit and run a little bit more, but if it's a quick down, you always say the quick down. All right, we got nothing, nothing. No good hooks here, but that's okay. Ooh, I got stuck, so I won't be able to take that. I got it. Oh my god, just in time. Hey, gamer. Aim. I'd rather get rid of stuff here. Cool. Nice. There we go. That'll get us going with Face the Darkness. He's over here. Can I chase him? I mean, it's not a horrible idea, right? He'll he'll move around here in a moment, just like wandering back and forth. There we go. Cool. Now he has to use this. We can continue chasing him until they finalize the heal. He needs to play around this tile or possibly go down. There we go. Perfect. Not bad. And there we go. Nice little bit of regression. What's going to be really nice is when the update does happen, this build should still hold up really well because they're going to be much larger chunks whenever you get those first hooks going. And you're never looking like you'll always take a survivor out whenever you can. But in cases like this, we can really kind of punish survivors. With the scourge hooks, because we'll be moving around a lot, so you're gonna be able to get those separated hooks out. I'm really not too worried here. Someone has to move through, and no one got past me, so we're good at the moment. I see someone might win in there. There she goes. I might actually try and move over here and stop this from happening. There we go. Anything just to be kind of annoying here, because I need to get a hit on this survivor, but unfortunately with all the walls, it makes it a little more difficult. There we go. RPD in a nutshell. Hi. Thank you. Works for me. Only one survivor should be going for the box, but it's actually him. Cool. Ooh, he screamed. Hold up. That's one of the best parts. He's also oblivious, so the chains are going to be brutal. Honestly, 
There he is, cool. And there we go. Now this group is in trouble. We get great skirt trick value. Can a survivor dead heart their chain? No. You can also stop a survivor's like lithe and sprint burst with chains. It's actually pretty brutal. This survivor here probably runs back here to get the box. They're being interrupted constantly, which is great. And the survivor who came here, I think, is injured. Yes, cool. He went upstairs. She's oblivious still, so we're fine. She probably knows that she's being chased, but Face of Darkness is also going to be on her in a second. Okay. There she is to the left. Hi. Look at that tracking. Oh my god. But we get to extend the chain hunt now, which is great. Alright, we gotta do that. Got a new mouse and the wire just likes to drag it all the way down. Big downside with having new mice. You're in trouble, man. Hi. Oh man. This is gonna be roughed up here soon. Oh. You know what? We'll give him a chance. Yeah, what's up? Oh, you giving up? We have had everyone give up today. Like, it's been hard to get a single game right now. Obviously, Pinhead has that effect, though. People do not like going against the Pinhead. She's moving now, though. Did she give up on Hook is the question. Let's get rid of this. They're back this way. She's going for the box. Hi. Thank you. Nice. She's got a lot to play with, but anyone who grabs the box right now, we can always teleport to. Ah, darn. Oh, I'll take it. You it might take me upstairs, me. though, right? Or I guess put her in the corner. There we go, that works. Oh. Cool, that works. They were actually able to get the uh, box done now, though, which is a bummer. But on the bright side, we caused so much damage that the game is pretty much in our favor. There they go, cool. Heard someone healing. Nice. And we're good. Oh, I thought I saw someone up there. Thank you so much, Toxic. Hey, buddy. I see you got my box. Can I have that? He just comes out right here and I tag him for free. I'm thinking so. Thank you. I think they've given up, guys. That is the pinhead effect right there. Alright, there we go. Tracking today was on point, though. Dude, ooh, Torment Creek. Oof. Rough. All right, we break this, we move this way, push Survivor that way, and then kind of rotate it. Guessing corner spawn. Yeah.
Nice. Here we go. She's just gonna run over and heal herself, but she's running into non-corrupt, so we're good to chase. Ah, bummer. I'll take it. She'll start healing herself, but she's nearby. I came. She didn't pick up her uh, health health kit here. Thank you. Right there. Okay. Gives me an idea. Nice. Good ping. W face the darkness. She'll go and grab her health kit in a second. We got rid of a pallet, so I can't complain. Okay. Got to do rid of two pallets. I didn't realize she had dropped this a moment ago. Hi. You're getting stuck in like everything. Come on, tag him. Nice. There we go. Oh, man. He got brutalized on that. What unlucky change for this dude. There it is. Cool. That's fine. They can have it. It's quite a bit of uh, value. We get our Scourge Hook here, which is going to detonate his gen, and we can kind of play off of that. They've all healed up. They all have health uh, medkits, so there's only so much pressure we can really do with it and run at the moment. Those uh, incoming changes later are going to be really, really nice. That means they had another gen that was hit. No, it was that gen. Cool. I'm okay with this. Wasn't really looking to stay by the hook, so it works out. There we go. Let's just keep everyone injured at the moment. This will encourage him to self-care, too. Uh. There we go. Nice. He did self-care. She's bringing me out here. There we go. No point in going for that. It's just a time waste for us at the moment. And there goes the other dead hard. Cool. We figured they'd all have dead hard, so it's not like it's that surprising. We'll be able to tag this. Get a big chunk of a gen hopefully gone without popping. There we go. And we've kept them healing. Having you on this side isn't horrible. It's also not the best call, though, either. Fair enough. No matter how I play around this main building, it's a pain. Hey, buddy. The med kits here were helping them. And that's a uh, insta-heal. Which is kind of a bummer. It means I probably should find a way to get over there, but what are you going to do? Okay. Definitely brought a lot of stuff to help them. So I'm guessing they all have insta heals too. But that means he doesn't have anything else to play on, so that's the good news. The bad news is that we're kind of playing in a really tough spot now because of all the free efficiency they have. They're not running crazy good tiles or anything like that, so we're currently pretty fine. Nice. Thank you, buddy. I think the way to do this is to, yeah, we're going to have to play. Ooh. I don't think it matters. I think our three gen's done. Unfortunately, it might be the fact that the 
instant med kits and everything else combined is just a little too much. We'll see. They are a waste of there we go. Maybe if we can get the chain hunt to go for a bit. Pretty quick heal. Uh, pick up there. They'll take it to a pretty safe area. This means that he most likely has uh, decisive. I think I have to gamble it though. I don't have a choice. Oh wow, no decisive. That means they might all come take hits. No, cool. I was gambling. Not here though. So it's over there. Fair enough. It's got a little bit of progress. A little bit more than a little. Nice, well done. Yes, of all. Yeah. I want to see who's here real quick. Yeah, I figured. I had a feeling we were still sticking it. One, two, and there we go. Nice. Question is, do I have a pain rest? I have one over here. It's a little gambly to even go for it, but just because they can possibly finish it. Hopefully they miss a skill check over there. Because that's where they're going to go. Cool. That most likely hits the gen to our right. No, hit the gen on the side over here. That means this gen's gonna pop. We're gonna be playing on the Meg. And then probably going from there. They probably have adrenaline though. They did heal, so maybe not. This gen is about 50%. Can I play on this area? Kind of what I have to ask. Cool. There we go. Nice. And there we go. Chain Hunt's about ready to start, so. Good suffering. Yeah, pain res right there. And I have a pain res right here. Let's go to this pain res for now. There goes Chain Hunt. That's going to be very annoying. Okay, there we go. That was over here. Waste of good suffering. Where at, though? There she is. Technically oblivious. Ooh, that's a big no-no. Honestly? Cool. Bounce landing gamer. I see. Fair enough. Oh, she got farther than I thought. She's got the box, so it's going to be really annoying for her. She'll definitely try and get my attention with it, too. The question is, how do I play on it? Both running over here. Nice. There we go. I can break it. That's fine. The box. We take that. You she doesn't make it, it to that person in time. I came. There we go. Cool. And then we just got to check the other uh, door. Plus, I want to hit this up real quick. We check the other door in case she's there. If she comes back for the save, we can always play on it. So I'm not too horribly worried. I don't think she's going to make it to the door and get out at the time. If she does, we still take the W, though. 
So it's not like the worst possible thing, you know? She's not there, so she's definitely going for the save. There she goes. I saw a scratch mark, so she's definitely going for it. Cool. There we go. We're just gonna swap this really quickly. Just in case there's like an unbreakable in play. She has balance landing, so she gets this and heads off anyways. Cool. That means we basically uh, secure the W here. Not bad. Especially for a group that brought lots of good items. Ooh, I missed that chain. Hi. Now she's got to play for a hatch, which means we take the W. Nice. Oh. Hatch is right here, by the way. She just happened to miss it. Might have decisive, though, so I was just going to close it. There we go. Oh, she can't have decisive. Never mind. Who's uh, endgame? There we go. Woo. Close game. GG's. Yeah, they came pretty stacked, by the way. <laughs> they came pretty stacked in terms of, like, med kits. I wanted to swap out Franklin's for it, but it just, I wanted to make, I wanted to do the build instead. You would probably take Franklin's instead of Sloppy Butcher here and do a lot better, but, I mean, it worked out really well. Aren't you just gonna take that? Hope that you fucking fight back.